what I really want to to maybe to wrap this up, what I like with with thinking about the model stuff is a lot of a lot of um, times you see something like this. Now I use state, so I have a different name. Yes. Um, so this is an, a, another model in here, and then we we have something like okay, we have some items. I don't know tweets. And tweets is, um, let's say, just a string list. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> I don't know. And, and then we have something like um, is, so we want to somehow convey if something is loading or not. So this is a bool. And then we have something like is error, which is a bool. Yeah. And then we have something which like error? an error. Design. Yeah, which error? Is that option and string this is probably? Some, yeah, this is a string option, of course. So something like this, and this is what what I see a lot of people are doing. You know, like building the the model like this, and then you have a lot of problems because in, in all this um, static type language, we have this notion of making illegal states unrepresentable within our model or within our types, and I think this is pretty much the the opposite of this you know because we could have something like is error is true but the error is a none so that's an illegal so, state right yeah and and this should not be possible within our system and we then we have like the tweets and we start oh yeah but we didn't load it yet so it's an empty list and this leads a lot of time to this flickering within your UIs, right? Yep. Because, oh no, it's a list. Oh no, now it's loading. I put the spinner yeah. on later. A lot of backend and, and... developers have this as well. When they when yes. they call the database and they uh, and something wrong happens, do you return an empty yes. list? And does that, that, yeah. that does not convey that something bad has happened. It yeah. always comes down to, yeah, one is the illegal state, but also about the, as a guideline, always think to yourself, how do I minimize the number of updates I need to do in my state? If you see all this yeah. information, you have to update them separately. Or yes. you have to know exactly which one to update in relation to the other. For example, you if you have an error, then is loading has to be false because otherwise you will get some weird application when you have both yes. loading is true and error is true. That that should yeah. not be possible in the and that should in, in the first place and this is something you could constrain yourself constrain the programmer with using proper types yes and so we could just i don't know we could just fix this by i think you, our application is in a different state um all the time so we could have just like a our model and this is what you were saying is not a record anymore no. but it's it's a discriminated union of something like loading and of something like error and if it's an error Which then one? we have a string yeah then but only then um or we have some, something like access yeah or a, or application so we are within our application and then we could have something like tweets which is a string list or right it could be the other state the other state record because maybe you are keeping track of your initial yeah. yeah yes people don't usually you do this because they usually have to load a bunch of stuff so they have yes you have the this loading this loading state for multiple things at the same time which becomes really really difficult unless you actually make the illegal state impossible yes. because we say it here which is kind of cool and it makes the application nicer but as 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 it grows it will there it will be your only way basically to actually yes, implement definitely. it in a in a sane manner and the, and the cool thing is now that that um now we can for example in the view we can have we have a pattern match within the view oh yes um, in here and then we can pattern match and then we can say um match um, match model with, and now of course it's a state, and then we have okay. In in case it's loading, then we show the um, loading view. Yeah, show so some something spinner, some some. Yeah, I don't know. And when awesome. we have an error, we are actually in the error. Show a sad face. Um, view, and then we have the error in here because we just get this and and do something in here. Yeah. And um, if we are in the application, I think I said it. Yeah. And then we get our tweets, and then we can just show our tweets. 
And and this is some this is one of those things where I say, okay, this is exactly where then everything falls into places, right? Because you don't need to think, but what if I'm in the application and in the application state, but my I'm I'm still loading is true. I really need to account for this. No, the no, update you don't accounts need for because that. you can't really go into those places. No, you can't have right? both tweets and loading at the same time. That's why it's a discriminated yeah. union. Yeah. Very important stuff. Okay. It's very yeah. important to and tinker think... with it. Try 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 things out. Yes. And what what helped me or us tremendously is for me this uh, it's it's not really working when I point my finger. <laughs> so for me oh. this stuff here is really still not like declarative or not really readable. So you read you need to really understand um what is happening. So if you if you're new mm -hmm. to this you have no clue. You have to see okay there is a new system there is a new ID just um created and and all this stuff. So what I like to do is to take all this stuff out and I, I really love to work with these um, with helper functions that are similar to this with new to do and it just gets the description and the model uh, the state and then do it like this so we have all this stuff here and and that we that mm -hmm. we reset the to do description and everything and the nice thing now is that we can have a really nice and small update function that is just the state with new to do and the, the, the state new to do description. And I think that this is really nice because now we have a really small and nice update function that um, is actually readable. And and that you can actually show someone and uh, or you you can show it to yourself like in two weeks and you can actually understand what is happening here and you can keep going here you know with uh, deleted uh, to do yeah maybe you should have made another yes. another function to clear to clear the the description yeah. and then have with new to do using this new yeah. de description then clear the description yeah. i think it's i think this is really nice and it, it's the it's a the, the the same thing that we are doing with yes. the render function instead of having one giant render function we just break things apart and it happens that the update is even simpler than doing than yeah. doing the render here we are just giving we have the state we just pass it we just pass it uh we just pass the state as well as uh, but we don't pass the all the yeah. message because because we just passed the information we yeah. need. And in this case, we need the new to-do description and the yeah. state to be able to compute the next yeah. state of yeah, the application. Yeah, definitely. And and I think this is much more declaratively because I don't care. Later on, we might have some list filter find something. And I really don't care reading this update thing. And if we go maybe next stream or the, the stream afterwards, we, have, we are working with commands. We can then do an, something like this without commands and or with... Uh, H, uh, HTTP request, whatever we can go wild with this, but but I think it's a really nice way writing our update functions. Mm -hmm.